Hey Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, it's a very special day where I live here, apart from it being a heat wave. Just about two or three miles down the road, they are reintroducing beavers into the wild, which is the first time for about 500 years or something within the Forest of Dean where I live. So today I thought I would get to celebrate that and I'll show you how to draw a beaver, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Well, to draw a beaver, we need to get the head. That's going to be a kind of a circle. And then we want the body, which is another circle, which is almost, well, pretty much, I would say, the same height as the head, like that. And then we need to bring this kind of up to a point like that. And then that's going to come all the way in a nice curve down to the tummy. Then we'll have a little bit of a scoop there. It's kind of a peanut shape, isn't it? And then that will come down squarish dinner plate tail. It's going to want feet and arms and legs. I think we'll have an eye about there and an ear about there. And we're going to want the nose kind of like that. And bring that down. And then we're just going to do there like that okay I think I'm ready to go so I've got my pen and I'm going to draw in the nose and that is going to come down and out in a little angle and then I'm going to bring this round in a curve and that will then give us the teeth and then we can have a little bottom lip and now if you put the ear like that and then we want this to be a nice curve up to the ear and the eye leave a little dot of white and then we want to bring the back around and down now let's put this arm in here like that and i'm just going to do the claws and go eat, 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 eat. Like that. <laughs> it's very simple and then the other claws eat, 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 like that and then I'm going to bring that tummy down there. And then this is now, it's got a birch branch or something like that. So you want some nice little kind of birch leaves. Very simple, like that. And then that can kind of be a stick there. And then this is going to come down. And we're going to want one, two, three, one. So you might see something on the other side. So they have these really big webbed feet on the back there like that and then we want this great big dinner plate <laughs> tail just going to want to come across and then just down that a little, little bit like that so it'll just give a bit of thickness to it and then we can do the same like along here like that and then when you're absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase those pencil lines and so I'm going to put some kind of cross and stuff around like that. And then I'm going to kind of make that the edge of the pond, possibly like that. And maybe have some something a bit more pondy like like that. And then it'll be quite sparing with the fur. Um, and follow this pattern around so you get the kind of the shape of the the fur going all the way around this nice round plump round body like that and then I think what we really need is some shading on the ground to put it in its place maybe have a few kind of rocks and things around there we could maybe have a bit of shading there could maybe have a bit of shading just around like that there you are that's the drawing here on youtube i'm going to show you how to color it in on patreon so if you want to know about that you can follow me on there just click the links and make sure you are subscribed here on youtube to the shoe rainer drawing channel and in the meantime <laughs> you keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye